All right, welcome into NFL Live. You know, Josina Anderson, our front office insider, Mike Tannenbaum, and the Super Bowl champ, Shane Vereen, over on the end. So Cliff Kingsbury going to take over Arizona Cardinals head coaching job. Let's start it off with you here, Mike. What do you expect from him year one with a rookie quarterback? How soon do you go to him and Kyler Murray? Oh, I think you got to go to him right away. You know, they only have Brett Hundley behind him. And, you know, poor Cliff Kingsbury. I mean, he's learning how to drive a car going 90 miles an hour in the left lane. I mean, it's a little bit like Freddie Kitchens in Cleveland, you, you know, He's never coached in pro football. He was he played for me at the Jets a long time ago. He was a good quarterback. He was smart. Um, but he's been in college football. There's so much to learn. I think a key guy for them is Vance Joseph, your mm -hmm. defensive coordinator, formerly the head coach of the Denver Broncos. Cliff's really going to have to just work with Kyler, get him ready to go. But in terms of you know the roster cuts and the various rules, I think Cliff has a lot to learn in a short amount of time because there's so much pressure on that organization because of all they gave up to go get Josh Rose, and they gave up a third and a fifth round pick to move up you know, five spots last mm -hmm. year, gave up $11.4 million, moved on from Josh Rose, and moved on from Steve Wilkes after one year. So I think there's a lot of pressure on them. They, they were probably the worst offensive line in football last year. I mean, they were absolutely brutal up front, so tough on Rosen, really. Uh, have they done enough to improve it, do you think, Josina? Well, I spent uh, the last uh, couple weeks after the draft covering the Arizona Cardinals, so I got to see them up front. One of the things, even before getting to that, that I thought was really cool was just seeing how much the head coach and Cliff Kingsbury was, like, already working with uh, Kyler Murray hands-on in practice, you know, trying to distract mm -hmm. him and all that other stuff. But as far as the offensive line, I, I do think that they've done some things in Addis Marcus Gilbert, J.R. Sweezy in free agency. They had a couple offensive linemen that they added in the draft in the sixth and seventh round. The question is, is that talent enough to create even more protection around a rookie now he's going to help himself out by being mobile okay but there's only so much that mobility can do so we'll see if the talent is enough to augment that protection so that they can have success because you're right Mike you mentioned this earlier they need to have success early <laughs> yeah all right Shane Vereen what about the weapons David Johnson he's yeah. unbelievable year then injured <laughs> he's kind of been uh, not not necessarily around the top of the league anymore can he get back there do you think absolutely uh, there's no question in my mind the years that we have seen the production that we have seen from him um, I, I mean it, it's been great I mean from a fellow running back to see what he's been doing he's the closest to thousand thousand that, that I remember seeing other than you know Alvin Kamara uh, or the other guys of today but David Johnson is an unbelievable back and I want to see him in this new offense that Cliff Kingsbury and that we've been hearing so much about <laughs> he's been hearing so much about how Kyler Murray's his guy and his offense and how simple it is and how many points they can produce. So I want to see how, how uh, David Johnson fits into that scheme. And I think if it, if, it, if it goes as well as it sounds, I think David Johnson will be back into that upper echelon of backs. You know what's interesting to me, touching on that, is what about Kingsbury when you get into short yards and goal line? You know, you go back to the Super Bowl when New England had the ball and they were backed up. They went back to you know, two running backs with a full back. Mm -hmm. They ran a power play. They ran three times, got the yep. ball over midfield and, and won the game. And that's one of my questions is, how is Cliff Kingsbury going to take his offense and adapt it to pro football? Mm -hmm. Right, and you're talking about just the uh, adaptation of the offense, particularly to the quarterback, and just how much of that is going to be under center, how much of that is going to be under the shot. I remember when I was covering the draft and I spoke to Lincoln Riley leading into the draft, he said even though about 5 to 10 percent of his offense was run out of the shot, that being with Kyler Murray in Oklahoma, he's like the biggest asset for Kyler Murray is his ad adapt adaptability is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's a word. You know what I was trying That's to say. Word. Was his adapt to Adaptability. Adaptability. Don't, don't go back oh to it. God. Use a senator. <laughs> Use a you senator. You don't do that to, to yourself. That's uh -huh. his biggest Come asset. On. So the fact that they didn't do it much uh, at Oklahoma, and I think that they're going to run the shot even more <laughs> with the Arizona yeah. Cardinals, I, I, I still think that regardless of what they do, he should flourish, is what <laughs> I'm trying to say. I like it. I, I, do, you're just, I'm not going to speed past you just say running the shot, too, because it's one of the coolest things I've ever heard. Under center, <laughs> running the shot. I've never heard that this my school, whole life. You know? But that's yeah. as cool as it gets. All right, receiver-wise. They go get a couple weapons, too. I mean, you have Larry Fitzgerald who's been there a million years. Michael Floyd now, who knows where he is. He plays for a different team every two weeks. We wide receivers in the first round. A couple draft the picks. Yeah. What do you think of the crew? Andy yeah. Isabella from? We're in the draft, yep. University of Massachusetts. Uh, that's what I was about to say. Oh, that's yeah. guy. Yeah. And they okay. love him because he has like 4-3 speed. So this is a guy that Steve Kyle talked a lot about in the post-draft yeah. dresser, just talking about how quick he is. And I saw him up close in person, so that'll be an interesting asset for him as well. I like it. NFL Live, Monday through Friday, ESPN. <laughs>